Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to talk to you about this uh, new tactical pen that I picked up, made by the Atomic Bear, and it's actually their SWAT tactical pen model. Now, I reviewed a lot of tactical pens in the past, uh, something that I actually uh, carry with me every day, and I've come across some really great models, and I've also come across a lot of garbage, and the garbage I tend not to review because it certainly doesn't do anything for me and doesn't do anything for you. Uh, but this one was definitely good to go, and I decided to review it and share the information with you. So uh, let's get into a little bit more detail on this uh, tactical pen made by the Atomic Bear. Now this tactical pen is made of aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, comes uh, with a clip that actually is detachable. You could actually unscrew this top piece, take the clip out, so you have options whether you want it clip or uh, clipless. The uh, top or cap just pulls apart giving you access, access to the actual writing utensil. And uh, to be honest with you, this pen writes really well. All right, you could refill it with Parker's or whatever. So not only is it something that's uh, tactical and giving you multi-purpose, let's say for uh, self-defense, but it's also a pen that's functional that you'll probably enjoy writing with on a daily basis. Now the tip here is actually a uh, tungsten tip, hard tip, and uh, you can use it to break glass. Uh, you can use it on metal. You can use it to break bones. You can use it to crush skulls okay so uh, that's one of the main features and uh, pretty much what makes it tactical besides it's a uh, cool look that it has over here now I previously mentioned that uh, the clip is removable but what I do want you to pay attention to here is the thumb rest so with tactical pens mimicking a knife or a blade there's basically two types of grips a forward grip and a reverse grip and since there is no edge or blade on this tool pretty much the uh, preferred grip is a reverse grip so you'll, you're going to need to rest your thumb basically on the, on the top of the uh, cap here. And a lot of uh, tactical pens that are out there are relatively smooth and flat, which causes my thumb to slip, especially if it's uh, wet from sweating or rain or blood or alcohol or anything that could be uh, involved in the situation. So the fact that there is this little point here, which looks like it would be extremely uncomfortable, but when you are uh, utilizing it, it's basically giving you that stationary feel for your thumb, allowing you to deploy the uh, blows much easier and still be able to uh, retain your tool. This pen does come with two ink cartridges. There's one that's already inside of here, and then it also does come with an extra one. And like I said, they're uh, based off the Parker style, so you could go ahead and if you want to go a little bit more high end, but uh, as I stated earlier, these do write really well, so I don't think uh, you'll be disappointed. The other thing that I haven't found in other tactical pens that I reviewed is that it comes with this uh, 300D pouch, which is actually really well made, very impressive. And uh, even the uh, loop belt here that you could attach to your webbing on your pack or to your belt uh, is definitely good to go and very strong. So that's impressive and it's thrown in at no extra cost. And even the cost of this pen is uh, somewhat half of what I see from uh, their competitors that are out there. Uh, so you're really getting a great deal here. So something else to take into account. The pen also comes with a lifetime warranty, which is pretty cool. So all you'll have to do is actually go to this web address, theatomicbear.com forward slash lifetime, and uh, go ahead and register so that you can have access to your warranty, uh, which is pretty cool. Can't get much better than a lifetime warranty. There are also some extras uh, available on the site once you do register, uh, some training aids uh, to utilize certain self-defense moves and uh, things of that nature. So make sure you check it out once you do pick up the uh, tactical pen. And uh, along those lines on training, keep in mind that this is a tool and this is a survival tool. This is a self-defense tool primarily. So what that means is you really need to uh, invest some time in practice if you expect to bode well in some kind of emergency or combative situation. So go ahead, pick up a wood dowel, anything like that. That way you don't destroy whatever item you're working on. Some people get worried about scratching up their uh, brand new pen. So uh, use a piece of wood, get that practice in. So there's really no need to collect a bunch of gadgets that you don't know how to use and could actually be used against you uh, if you are not proficient with it. So let's, uh, let's be smart. Let's all work together and uh, you know, keep in mind what this is really for. It's not to be cool. It's uh, you know, something that can save your life or your loved one's lives. So once again, this is Helder. I really hope that you enjoyed this information.